Hey there, besties. Thank you for stopping by. I am Michonne Denise. We got a TikToker on here that's trying to tell these black women what it is. And you know, they don't want to listen as per usual. But we're going to go ahead and see what she has to say because I'm sure you've seen it. I'm sure you heard it. I'm sure you know it, but you ain't heard it from me. So let's go. So scrolling on TikTok this morning, honey, it seemed like every other video is a man saying he tired of y'all bitches. He getting his passport ready and he going to another country so he can get his him a woman. I done told y'all bitches when I was in Jamaica last week, honey, every other couple was a black man with a different race of woman, Spanish, Asian, white, girl. Uh, uh, honey, please, y'all better focus on the right shit. Y'all better start taking care of your man because, honey, they are leaving. and <laughs> Leaving y'all asses in the dirt. Y'all keep focusing on these wigs and these BBLs and all this other goddamn bullshit instead of focusing on taking care of your man and making sure he's pleased and happy. Girl, please, get that bug out of my face. Mm, that bullshit. Y'all better stop that bullshit. They are serious. They threw with y'all shit. Isn't that nice of her to try to help them out? You're so sweet, lady. So kind. Wasting your breath and your time. But it was nice of you to go ahead and try to give these people a clue. Listen, all the clues have been left. All the clues have been scattered. They just don't want to see them. They don't want to know them. They don't want to listen. They don't want to do anything other than what they want to do. It is what a T.I. is. And I know that a lot of people have just been saying, they ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere. You can't have bad child support in order to get a passport. You can't have no felonies in order to get a passport. And when I hear that, you know what I hear? I hear someone who decided to deal with someone who was low-hanging fruit. Like I said, I don't know. I, well, let me just say, I don't know people that got those problems. People I know either pay their child supporter they're married and they don't have these problems and i don't know people who have felonies so that takes care of that y'all hanging out with people who have felonies and who don't pay child support or got several different baby mamas so they all sitting around taking the man to court so he don't have anything and then everybody wonder why he can't do anything because y'all taking all his daggone money now listen it's not me defending anybody who ain't paying child support when they're supposed to be paying child support so don't think that's what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, is that y'all been telling on yourselves the last few days. Let me tell you, like I said, the gift that keeps on giving. How you going to come out straight with the, you got a felony, you can't get a passport. That means you dealing with felons. You're not paying your child support, then you can't get a passport. That means you're dealing with low uh, maintenance people that don't have much to offer, so they can't give you anything. You know, that mental instability where you go and you get with someone who doesn't have anything, and then for some reason you think they're supposed to give you everything once you have a kid with them. You know, that stuff don't really make no daggone sense. So all these people on the internet, of course, because that's all we got here, we on TikTok, People sitting up here saying, let them go. We don't care. Well, good, because that's what it should be. But what I don't understand is why you're even commenting. Like I always say, y'all sure do know where all the men are, what they doing, where they at, what time they there, and when they leaving for people that don't care. You say you don't care. You say you're going to divest. You say you're going to date a white man, a green man, an orange man, all these different men or women, whatever you, whatever floats your damn boat. But somehow, some way, you most certainly know every daggone thing that a man, a black man in particular, is doing and where they at. Why do y'all even care? Why do you even have to comment whether a man is going to get his passport and he's leaving? I don't see too many men making all these TikToks talking about, I got my passport, I'm out. I got my passport, I'm out. Because I'd have to talk about y'all too, just a FYI. I see men who are over there in the passport bro space. They over there having their own commentary and conversations. And I'm not in none of it. Because honestly, I've already said prior to all this hoopla with the passports that all y'all needed to have your daggone passport any daggone way. Because that's just something that you do as an adult, in my opinion. 
Now, I understand a lot of your mamas didn't tell you that, but that's what I'm here for. I'm your big sis. I'm your little sis. I'm your mama, your auntie, whatever it is that y'all want to call me. I'm here to let y'all know. If you didn't have your passport, you should have it any daggone way just because. Not even because you're looking for a wife in a different daggone country. It's just a mature thing to do. You need to be interested in seeing different spaces and places just so that you could be cultured. You could know a different life, life other than the one that you know, other than the United States. States of America. You need to explore the whole world. It's a whole big ass world out there. And when you get stuck in small places, say your only your state and your city, you, there's a whole United States. And I don't think a lot of people ever get out of their own way from that perspective to go see that there's other things. And then they continue to deal with people that don't mean them well. We need to get start teaching each other that we need to get out of our own ways. A lot of us need to go ahead and see something different, go other places, try something new and move on, especially if where you are, it ain't doing what it is that you needed to do for you. Just my two cents. So yesterday when I said that the men were going to other countries to find women because they were sick of y'all shit, <laughs> honey, in my comments, the women were like, bye, bye, motherfucker, bye. Instead of saying, damn, we got to fix this shit. We got to do right by our men. We got to be better. But in the same breath, you see a black man out and he's with a white woman or Asian woman or a Spanish woman, any other race. You get, your face gets all fucked up. You get a big scowl. So do you want black men or don't you? Because... Uh, this shit is confusing. <laughs> Child, it's not confusing. It's the mental instability that I keep talking about. You do not spend this much time carrying on about people that you supposedly don't give a damn about. You just don't. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense to know what they're doing, know where they're at, and to talk negatively about them, talk down on them. And yes, I've seen the same daggone thing. I'm not sure why in 2022 that it's surprising to see any people that are mixed together. It's not surprising to see two gay people together. Like this is, we act like we living in the damn forties and fifties. Come on now. Who gives a damn? The man or the woman are with who they want to be with. Let them be who the heck it is that they are together. Who cares if they're mixed race? This is the least of anyone's problem at this point. But she ain't lying when she said that black women will turn their noses up and then carry on and be like, especially, well, let me, let me rephrase only when it's a black man with a white woman or white, or I'm sorry, a black man with anybody that's not black. It's always looking up, acting crazy, turning their nose up in their faces. You see it in the comments with the daggone celebrities. It's always a Bronnie James took a, took the damn girl to the prom. All the man did was take the girl to the prom. Y'all be, I just had a fit over a child going to his high school prom because he took a beautiful Becky. Yeah, I said it because I know that pisses you off. And the girl is beautiful. You sit up here and you mad that Kobe was with Vanessa and when he died, he left everything and y'all celebrated. That's crazy, mentally insane. That's uh people who, you know, need some, some help for real, for real. I'm being careful with my words right now, but that shows how crazy you are. But as soon as Serena marries her husband, it's go, sis. Yes, yeah, sis. All right, sis. Hi hypocritical much? It's a hypocrite. Y'all are hypocrites at all times. And nobody wants to participate in your madness anymore. That's how I'm going to look at it, y'all. Stop participating in the madness. As soon as you see that these women that you're taking out, you're going out with, they demanding this, they demanding that, can't do it for themselves, but demand that you do it. Leave them where they lie. Stop dealing with these low rent people. These people are the people that are getting the low hanging fruit and then complaining about their results. And I'm not even talking about the poverty level women. I'm not talking about them. We're going to leave them off the table right now. Well, I'm talking about the next level up. You might make 45, 50, 60, $70,000. You still out here whining and complaining. You still complaining about it. Man, 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 do that. Every five point five, every five point five, or whatever it is that you want to bring up out of your mouth to find, to degrade and talk negatively about black men because you are so miserable, part of the bitter brigade, part of the system. 
the hood. You would rather be commiserating and miserable than to go ahead and step away from that crap and do what you need to do in order to get what it is that you want. Y'all miss me with that crap. Honestly, divesters might really be out of it and that's fine. Let them be out of it. Let them go do their thing. Uh, many of their talking points I agree with, but I don't agree with people t going back and uh, talking sugar honey iced tea on people that you claim you don't want to be with, that you don't be with, that you don't deal with, that you have not in your life. So it confuses me as to why it is that you're spending your time getting all upset and carrying on about people that you don't care about any daggone way. Okay. Especially if you got your own man. So if y'all really don't want a man, that makes it even more crazy because all you do is sit up here and talk about men, what they doing, where they at, where they, where they going. You don't want one. So why are you discussing it? Why aren't you talking about the vacations that you're having, the businesses that you're starting, the kids that you're raising, the places that you're uh, going to visit, your mamas, your fathers, your anything else? Y'all straight continue to talk about men, black men in particular, on a daily daggone basis. It's not one second that goes by that you don't. But then want to sit up here and act like we don't want them. We ain't better than them. I can't find a man. I can't find a man on my level. I can't find a man. Can't find a man. All this, you can't find a man. No, you can't find a man that's going to grovel down under your feet. That's what you can't find because black women want to be men. They want to be in charge of men. They want to be over men and they want to be men, period, point blank. And I'm sure they can find some because we all know that there's some out there who don't know, they don't recognize, and they're going to go ahead and fall for the okie doke. Poor things. Good luck to them. That's all I'm going to say. But for the rest of them that know about what's going on and they got common sense and they don't want someone to drag them and treat them badly and they want someone who's caring and care for them, who pours into them, who helps them, who encourages them, who has a kind word for them, who smiles at them, who doesn't cause strife, who is okay with making a meal, who is okay with cleaning up a house, who's okay with raising kids, who's okay with having kids, who's okay and spending time with said man, who's okay with having sex with said man. You know, those type women, you know, the pick and the mammies, holla, holla, holla. Those of us who have common damn sense, those of us who can get on this platform and say, y'all think you got it going on, but you at the top of the daggone eviction list, you at the top of the daggone student loan debt list, but then you want to act like you got it going on just because you went to college, child. We all know that college costs money. I went to a college to my daggone self, okay, and stopped that in associates because the shit costs too damn much, but y'all going to continue to go to college, even though you can't afford the debt that you have to, in to increase the debt. And then not be able to afford the rest of the increased amount of debt. Insane. Don't make good God sense. Crazy. Chaotic. But you got it going on. You know it all. You got it going on. You got your, your daggone kids out here calling Kendra G's show. Trying to get you a man in charge of your WAP. Complete and other chaos. Never You never have to worry about... Who's doing worse as far as the community community is concerned? Because BlackDemographics.com is telling it all, child, and I'm going to keep bringing it all out. I don't have time for these games no more, and I'm tired of talking about all this silly-ass stuff. I'm going to tell everybody the truth because it's facts, data, statistics that can be proven as opposed to just pulling something out of your ass and tossing it out there, which is what most of you biatches do. You can sit up there and continue to think that you're better than every daggone body else. And you can stay in the same daggone situation that you're in. Miserable. Commiserating with miserable people. Single women keep women, women single. Y'all want to keep doing that? Have at it. But understand and know that life is only but for so long. And you're wasting all these years carrying on for no other reason than to be a part of a nasty ass group that don't give a damn about you at the end of the daggone day. But... Go off, sis. Do your thing. Always remember, your results are your results alone. You're listening to someone else, that's your decision that you're making. You want to continue to incur debt from schooling and then act like you can't pay it off? Too bad, so sass. You made that choice. You're going to be responsible for it, period, point blank. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.